गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन दैट व्हेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट पासिस फ्रॉम रेयर मीडियम टू डेंसर मीडियम इट बेंड टुवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल दैट वाज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक द सेकंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक वाज दैट व्हेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट incident normally at the interface of two media then it passes straight away and no refraction takes place in this case angle of incidence and angle of refraction are zero degree and the third was just reverse of first one that when a ray of light passes from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal now on the basis of uh, this we can explain so many phenomena uh, which happens in our day to day life for example you have seen when a stick or when a pencil is immersed in water at the interface of two media interface of two media means when air and water meets at that point the stick or pencil appears to be bent slightly it be just dislocate from its position so why it appears then suppose uh, there are some printed letters and you place a glass slab over it the letters appears to be raised uh, you also sometimes feel that uh, when you are in a swimming pool the bottom of the swimming pool appears to be raised in restaurant you have seen they kept a lemon in a glass tumbler full of water and lemon appears to be bigger in size so all these phenomena are based on refraction of light i will take one important example and that's why i have written a question explain with the help of a ray diagram why a pencil partly immersed in water appears to be bent at the water surface now to answer this question we will draw a diagram so suppose uh, uh we have a water in a container we have taken some water in a container like this taking some water in a container now if we immerse suppose we have immerse a stick suppose uh, we have taken water in a container and let ab is a stick isn't it now from point a suppose this is point a we take two light rays as you know two light rays are required to make a image so suppose these are the two light rays coming out from this point Isn't it? Now we have learned that when a ray of light passes from denser to rarer medium, obviously this medium is air, and this is water. So draw normal at the po this point. So these rays will bend away from the normal. It means the rays will move in this direction. isn't it now if the rays are produced backward
they will meet somewhere here. So when they will meet, they will form a virtual image of this stick. Like this. So this point A appears to be raised and the image of A will be formed at A dash. Isn't it? In this way, we can say that this immersed portion of the stick, the whole stick appears to be raised a little bit when immersed in water because the rays are coming out from all the points and they just bend away from the normal and when they are produced backward, they meet virtually at some point. So in this way, the image of A is formed at A dash. Similarly, of this point will be formed here in this way. The whole emerged portion of the strip appears to be raised. So in this way, you can uh, explain the other phenomena. You will write some questions regarding this. Uh, uh, if you want to write answer of it, then uh, you can write answer of this. First you have to draw this diagram and then write down, right, when a pencil, when a pencil is partly immersed in water, when partly immersed in water, it appears to be displaced, it appears to be displaced at the interface of, at the interface of air and water as shown in figure as shown in figure like as shown in figure rays starting from point A rays starting from point A in the optically denser medium in the optically denser medium this water is optically denser optically denser medium bend away bend away from normal bend away from normal after passing bend away from normal after passing through after passing through water air interface after passing through water air interface on entering the eye on entering the eye the ray appears to come the ray appears to come from a dash the ray appears to come from a dash so point so point a so point a appears to be at a dash and the portion and the portion and the portion AO and the portion AO appears to be at OA dash appears to be at OA dash thus thus the light reaching out thus the light reaching our eye Thus, the light reaching our eye from the portion of the stick, from the portion of the stick inside the water, inside the water appears to come from different directions, appears to come from different directions compared to the part above water compared to the part above water that is why 
a pencil or a stick that is why a pencil or a stick appears to bend at the interface i think uh, this is clear to you now giving some more questions you go through ncert book page 171 ncert page 171 and second paragraph refraction of light second paragraph uh, you see so many um, uh, phenomena are given that you might have observed that bottom of a tank or pond containing water appears to be raised so my first question is why write this question why the bottom of a tank or a pond containing water appears to be raised this is question number 1 for homework now write the second question when a thick glass slab when a thick glass slab is placed over some printed matter is placed over some printed matter the letter appears raised the appears the let sorry the letters appears raised when viewed through the glass slab when viewed through the glass slab explain why explain why so these are the two questions based on refraction of light it is homework and you have to write the answer of these questions on saturday 7 pm you must submit your homework i will see and next topic is refraction through a glass slab so uh, uh, after words we will discuss uh, it in next class